Last summer, the SEC sparked a college football realignment frenzy when it was announced that Texas and Oklahoma would be leaving the Big 12 for the SEC. This left many wondering what the Big 10 would do to keep up with the Southeastern Conference as they are viewed as the top two football conferences in the nation. And that's where all the money is. As of the time of recording, we are almost a year later from when the news broke, and the Big Ten has not made a move. Yet, as they go through their television contract negotiations, they may consider expanding, and if they do, I think Oregon could be one of the few perfect schools to grab. So far, you guys have loved the series, and this was a highly requested video. These videos are for fun, and I don't think we see any of these moves happen anytime soon. With that being said, I like looking into why some of these moves make sense and why they wouldn't work as well. If there's a school you want me to consider doing, make sure to let me know in the comment section below and subscribe to stay up to date. If the Big Ten actually looks into expanding to 16, 18, or 20 teams, I think Oregon should be one of the first teams they consider. They have been one of the better teams over the past decade plus in the Pac-12 and made it to the first college football national championship back in 2014 when they lost to Ohio State. They would expand the Big Ten footprint to the West Coast and I think they could pair nicely with the addition of Washington or USC. So why would Oregon want to make the move? The first reason is the money from the television deal. Right now, the Big Ten makes the most money compared to any other conference when it comes to their television deal, and they may sign a massive contract to renew the rights when the time comes. The Pac-12 network was supposed to be revolutionary, but has been a terrible failure. According to Mercury News, some schools are receiving annual payouts from the network that are fractions of what they'd hoped for and a fraction of what has been reported in the media, when the real cost of the content is included in the calculation. They continue to lose their audience, and things do not look good for the future. The Big Ten and SEC networks have four times the audience of the Pac-12 network, going back to 2019. As of 2020, the Pac-12 as a whole earns $533.8 million from their media rights deal, versus the Big Ten's $768.9 million deal. The Ducks television market ranks 21st in the nation and could be an important addition. Oregon is a national brand and has a strong relationship with Nike due to Phil Knight's connection. Back in 2020, Oregon had the 18th highest revenue according to Penn Live. In the right conference, Oregon could be one of the top 10 money-making schools in the nation. The addition of Oregon could also help both the Big Ten and the Ducks when it comes to recruiting. If the Big Ten decides to add a Pac-12 school, the conference could stretch coast to coast. More importantly, Oregon is a strong academic institution. As I have explained in previous Big Ten videos, the conference values schools that are a part of the AAU. Every member but Nebraska, who was a part of the AAU when they were accepted into the Big Ten, is a part of the organization, and Oregon is a member as well. According to Fanside, they are also the 103rd best university in the nation. They would bring an exciting brand of football and could have some rivalries already in place. Last season, they went on the road and beat Ohio State in the Horseshoe, which was one of the better games of the season. They also played the Buckeyes in the college football playoffs back in 2014. A few years back, they had an exciting Rose Bowl game against my Wisconsin Badgers, beating them 28-27. They also beat the Badgers in the 2012 Rose Bowl, 45-38. The Big Ten would also provide Oregon a clearer path to the college football playoffs. The committee has not valued the Pac-12 for a long time, and according to Fanside, are much more likely to take a two-loss team from another conference over a one-loss Pac-12 team. I just want to take a second and ask if you are enjoying this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more college football content. Also, let me know what your dream college football realignment scenario is in the comment section below. So why wouldn't Oregon make the move to the Big Ten, or why might the Big Ten not want to add the Ducks? Well, the first major issue comes with how far Oregon will be from the other teams in the conference. If the Big Ten does not add another West Coast team, then they could be a sort of West Virginia Big 12 scenario. There would be multiple time zones between the schools, and Ducks fans might have to get up for a 9 a.m. kickoff more often than not with the Fox Big Noon kickoff. The other issue is the fact that Oregon does not have a Division I wrestling team or a hockey team. The Big Ten takes pride in their wrestling programs, with every member school having a wrestling team. It is one of the reasons I considered Oklahoma State to the Big Ten last summer. Oregon does not have a wrestling team with the only Pac-12 schools with wrestling teams being Arizona State, Oregon State, and Stanford. Oregon does have a hockey team, which is not varsity. They compete in the Pacific 8 Intercollegiate Hockey Conference of the American Collegiate Hockey Association Division 2. As a Big Ten alum, I would be really excited to add a team like Oregon, which could balance out the western side of the conference. Will it actually happen? I really do not know because of the relationship the Big Ten has with the Pac-12. Money does talk though, but what do you think? Should Oregon join the Big Ten? Let me know in the comment section below. 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more college football content, and check out one of my other videos the algorithm knows you will love right here. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, remember to embrace the grind.